Hello everyone! Today we are going to do the try a chapter book tag. I did this once before, it was a fun time, but I was reading physical books and I never actually got to the book that I chose because, let's be real, I am such a hardcore audiobook reader. I just don't like reading physical books that much. So today we're going to do the try a chapter tag audiobook edition. I have scrolled through the audiobooks that I have bookmarked on my library's website and I've picked out five of them that I don't really know a lot about and now I'm just going to listen to the five minute preview that you can listen to um, before you check it out. And I'm going to listen to all these and then choose one for my next read. So the books that I've chosen are The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner, which I keep seeing recommended by people, um, but I don't know anything about it. I think it's a young adult contemporary. The Crims by Kate Davies, which uh, kind of looks like middle grade fiction, and I literally don't have any recollection of bookmarking this or why I wanted to read it in the first place. The Last Mrs. Parrish by Liv Constantine, which again, I don't know very much about the plot, but I kind of have a memory of looking at this book on Goodreads and I had friends that gave it five star reviews and friends that gave it one star review. So I'm very intrigued. Elmet by Fiona Mosley, which I believe was one of the books either shortlisted for the Bailey's Prize or for the Man Booker Prize. I don't remember. I've just heard good things about it. The last one is Listen to the Squawking Chicken by Elaine Louis. This is a memoir that I think focuses on the mother-daughter relationship and I don't remember how I stumbled across it but I just found it browsing the library website and the title sounded really funny to me. So we're gonna go ahead and listen to these now. I think I'm gonna listen to these and make a pizza because I'm hungry for lunch. So you can join me in that adventure. Are back. I've listened to the first five minutes of all five books. Here are my thoughts. Okay, we started out with The Serpent King by Jeff Santner. I'm not entirely on board with this book yet. I don't know. It didn't hook me. We start out with this teenage boy and his mom is trying to convince him to visit his father in prison. It's very southern. It was slow to start and I, I don't know yet. I'm definitely like a little intrigued. There's obviously questions there, but it's not something I probably am going to pick up anytime soon, but I'll keep it on my radar. Um, a lot of people have recommended it, like I said. Then I listened to Listen to the Squawking Chicken by Elaine Louie, which I really enjoyed. Uh, we didn't get to hear that much of the book. It just kind of introduced the relationship between this woman and her mom, and it is narrated by the author, which I really enjoy always, and she just seems very inviting and fun to listen to. She mentioned being on TV, so maybe this is a famous person, and I was not aware of it, but I don't know who she is. I just thought that the mother-daughter relationship sounded interesting to me, and I did really enjoy the writing and the voice of this book. So definitely was intrigued by that one. Uh, the next one I listened to was Elmet by Fiona Mosley, which was a lot different than I was expecting. For some reason, I was just like really expecting an American woman to be narrating the book, and it's narrated by like a British man, and it's very confusing. I don't really know what happened in the first five minutes of the book. It had a lot of descriptive prose, and it was kind of mystical and really beautiful, but I uh, had no grasp of what the characters were or what was going on. So that one also just 
did not hook me in the first five minutes but I do think that I still want to read that book maybe eventually but it was just I don't know not what I was expecting the next book that I uh, tried out was The Crims and this one I really enjoyed it has very quirky and odd humor that I really enjoy in a book from the cover and synopsis you know that the main character is from like a family of criminals you hear about that in the beginning but it also sets up this plot about um, school tensions and rivalries and drama and I really enjoyed that and it just was very weird the descriptions were just really funny and the main character was kind of awful but you enjoyed her so much and yeah I definitely want to read this one as well between this and listen to the squawking chicken I maybe am more interested in listen to the squawking chicken but for sure the crims is on my radar now and I definitely think I will enjoy reading that one and then I listened to The Last Mrs. Parrish. I almost forgot about it. I listened to the first four and I was like pretty sure that I wanted to make Listen to the Squawking Chicken my choice out of all of them. And then I remembered I had that fifth book. So I listened to the first five minutes of that and I'm very intrigued by this book. We start out and I don't really know the context or why this is happening, but essentially the main character in this book is conning someone. I have no idea why it's happening and I'm just so curious. The book really really does set up a lot of intrigue within the first five minutes of the audiobook. And that one, like I said, I heard really mixed things about. I have a lot of people that hated that book, but I definitely am really intrigued from the first little bit, so I for sure want to read this book as well, or at least read some more and see how I like it, because I have questions. I think in the end, what I'm feeling is still listen to the squawking chicken. I just felt very invited by the tone and the voice of that book. Yeah, I'm just feeling a memoir where I just kind of have like a friend talking to me. So that's the book I think I'm gonna put on hold and read next, but I definitely am much more interested in reading The Crims and The Last Mrs. Parrish now, and I really had no intention of reading those anytime soon without doing this little project. So that was a fun discovery. Elmet and The Last Serpent are gonna stay on my radar, like I said, because they have been recommended, but I'm not hooked yet, so I'll maybe get to those someday, not in the immediate future. So yeah, I think that's it. We're gonna put Listen to the Squawking Chicken on hold. Maybe, maybe even the Last Mrs. Parrish as well, because I just really want to know what happens in that book. That was the Try a Chapter Tag audiobook edition. That was really fun. That was a lot easier and better for me than doing actual chapters of books. So I would do this again if anyone wants me to. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you soon. That was the bird.